Hi everybody, it's Melissa Blunden from North Madison Congregational Church, Tuesdays in the Garden. It's October 30th here, and look what's happening. Isn't it beautiful? I am a snow lover, so I'm not complaining. Um, I love snow, and also what I love about uh, early fall snow is that <laughs> It kind of wraps up the garden. Uh, this week at work, you know, the gardens really were not ready to be cut down. And, uh, you know, it's getting to that time in the calendar where, well, I'm ready to cut them down. <laughs> so this is good for me. It's like, ah, yes, let's get this closing the gardens show on the road. Good morning, girls. So I'm here at my house and good morning, there's Ivy and Myrtle. I guess they don't like the snow, they're hiding inside. Usually they're out. We, we got them this March, the beginning of COVID, that was kind of like our COVID project. <laughs> and uh, so we haven't gone through a winter with them yet. So this is funny, maybe they're not snow lovers. Hey you guys. So, and uh, I've got this bag. Uh, carrying it over to the shed. Mealy worms. Um, and my chickens like those. I'll uh, throw them a handful and it's a big treat. And also the bluebirds love them too, I, I think. To tell you the truth, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the snow. Tomorrow's Halloween, and uh, things are going to be things are going to be wrapping up soon. I still have lots to do before winter really sets in, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But it's snowing now; it won't last. I don't think it will interfere with our Halloween plans. We're gonna decorate a little trail through the woods for the grandchildren and the neighbors and do a little trick-or-treating. Well, not trick-or-treating, but we're gonna have a scavenger hunt. That'll be fun. So anyway, life is a garden. I'm not talking specifically about gardening right now, but when you think of it, life is a garden. And, um, and this is part of, you know, the seasons. It's all part of the garden. Yep. Good morning to you, too. All right, we'll check in in a bit. Hi, guys. Tuesday's in the garden. I'm back. Uh, Friday, we had a little snow flurry there, and uh, it actually did accumulate a little bit, just a coating, but enough to make everything really pretty way up here in North Madison. Um, we had a wonderful Halloween and uh, a time change, so we got an extra hour of sleep. So um, now we're here, and uh, it's Tuesday, and it's a very big day. It's election day. Um, it's cold this morning, very cold, and um, I put my garden chores on hold for today. And uh, there's still plenty to be done in the garden now that we had that cold, cold snap. Uh, things are going to be ready to cut down, and I still have bulbs to plant. Uh, I still have hoses to bring in, and just, you know, general chores. But today, I wanted to just take a minute, and because today's election day, 2020, and it's a big election. Um, but I'm going to tell you a story. It doesn't really have to do with election day. We're here inside by the cozy fire. And uh, this, this is just a little story taken from this book. Here, I'll show you. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. Uh, this is a great book. Um, I recommend it, maybe for some winter reading. Um, all you gardeners out there. It's uh, one thing I love to do in the winter is read. Uh, so anyway, this is taken from uh, that book, and it's actually at the end of the book. Um, and it's called A Prayer for Love. And here we go. We are going to share a beautiful dream together. 
a dream that you will love to have all of time. In this dream, you are in the middle of a beautiful, warm, sunny day. You hear the birds, the wind, and the little river. You walk toward the river. At the edge of the river is an old man in meditation, and you see that out of his head comes a beautiful light of different colors. You try not to bother him, but he notices your presence and opens his eyes. He has the kind of eyes that are full of love and a big smile. You ask him, how is he able to radiate all that beautiful light? You ask him if he can teach you to do what he is doing. And he replies that many, many years ago, he asked the same question of his teacher. The old man begins to tell you his story. My teacher opened his chest and took out his heart and he took a beautiful flame from his own heart. Then he opened my chest, opened my heart, and he put that little flame inside it. He put my heart back in my chest, and as soon as my heart was inside me, I felt intense love, because the flame he put in my heart was his own love. That flame grew in my heart and became a big, big fire, a fire that doesn't burn, but purifies everything that it touches. And that fire touched each one of the cells in my body, and the cells of my body loved me back. I became one with my body, but my love grew even more. That fire touched every emotion in my mind, and all the emotions transformed into a strong and intense love. And I loved myself completely and unconditionally. But the fire kept burning and I had the need to share my love. I decided to put a little piece of my love in every tree and all the trees loved me back and I became one with the trees. But my love did not stop, it grew more. I put a piece of love in every flower, in every grass, in the earth, and they loved me back, and we became one. And my love grew more and more to love every animal in the world. They responded to my love, and they loved me back, and we became one. But my love kept growing and growing. I put a piece of my love in every crystal, in every stone in the ground, in the dirt, in the meadows, and they loved me back. And I became one with the earth. And then I decided to put my love in the water, in the oceans, in the rivers, in the rain, in the snow. And they loved me back and we became one. And still my love grew more and more. I decided to give my love to the air, to the wind. I felt a strong communion with the earth, with the wind, with the ocean, with nature, and my love grew and grew. I turned my head to the sky, to the sun, to the stars, and put a little piece of my love in every star, in the moon, in the sun, and they loved me back, and I became one with the moon and the sun and the stars. And my love kept growing and growing. And I put a little piece of my love in every human. And I became one with the whole of humanity. Wherever I go, whomever I meet, I see myself in their eyes because I am a part of everything because I love. And then the old man opened his own chest. He took out his heart and with that beautiful flame inside, he put that flame in your heart. And now that love is growing inside you. Now you are one with the wind, with the water, with the stars, and with nature, with all the animals and with all humans. You feel the heat and the light emanating from that flame in your own heart.
Out of your head shines a beautiful light of different colors. You are radiant with the glow of love and you pray. And so now let's pray together. Thank you, creator of the universe, for the gift of life you have given me. Thank you for giving me everything that I ever truly needed. Thank you for the opportunity to experience this beautiful body and this wonderful mind. Thank you for living inside me with all your love, with your pure and boundless spirit, with your warm and radiant light. Thank you for using my words, for using my eyes, for using my heart to share your love wherever I go. I love you just the way you are and because I am your creation, I love myself just the way I am. Help me to keep the love and the peace in my heart and to make that love a new way of life that I may live in love the rest of my life. Amen. That prayer was also written uh, from this book. So I ask you all um, to just look at your own light and fire and love inside you and let that be your guide. So that's it. Tuesdays in the Garden. It's November now. And as I said, there are chores to be done. But I think we'll probably be wrapping up our Tuesdays in the Garden series a little bit here for the winter. Maybe we'll check in now and then. We'll see how it goes. But for now, have a nice long winter's nap read and dream and have faith in the spring it will come all will be well take care now bye bye